today we're going to talk about the removal and replacement of the IMS switch in a 1 or 2000 series transmission. The IMS switch stands for internal mode switch, which is internal to the transmission. It uses a series of wipers and contacts to tell the TCM which range has been selected by the driver. If one of the wipers or contacts goes bad, you may end up with code P0708 or P0706. Changing the internal mode switch requires removal of the valve body. If you have questions on how to remove the valve body, see the link in the description. After the valve body is removed, you'll see a pin that retains the shift shaft. Use a pair of side cutters to take the pin out of the case. Make sure not to damage the surface of the case while you're taking the pin out. After the pin is released, use a T27 Torx bit to remove the screw that retains the IMS switch to the shift shaft. After this is removed, you can take the shaft out of the case. On units that have park, the park spring must be removed as well. It'll come out with the detent mechanism. Once the shaft and the IMS switch and park spring are out, make sure to inspect the shaft closely where the seal for the shift shaft rides. Excessive wear could cause a leak of oil past the shift shaft seal. Unbox the new IMS switch and install the park spring in the same orientation you took it out. When replacing the IMS switch, always replace the set screw that threads into the shift shaft as the threads stretch when it's tightened. Reinstall the pin that holds the shift shaft to the main case and then reinstall the valve body. Make sure to plug in the new IMS switch after the valve body is installed. Reinstall the pan and torque the pan bolts to spec fill with oil. If you have any questions on this procedure, you can visit our website at wellertruck.com or you can call 800-872-6697 or email info at wellertruck.com.